a handyman for the average man. Today I'm going to show you how to recondition your 12 volt car battery so you can save money and not have to rebuy a battery. So the main thing is you want to make sure it's at a, a good enough level that you can actually recondition it. So let's see what my battery is reading. Got my multimeter, got it at DC. Check out my other video right here of how to determine which cell specifically is the bad cell. But, so we got our negative terminal, positive terminal, just match them up. So 12.43. If you're running less than 12.6 volts, your car battery is weak and definitely a good chance, even if your car starts, you could have some issues. So uh, anything less than 12.6, but say over 10 volt, you should be able to recondition it. And if you look on the internet, some people are able to do it up to three, four times of reconditioning the battery like I'm gonna show you today. And so if it's less than 10, it may not be worth the struggle. You might not have success reconditioning the battery. Just something to keep in mind. So I'm at 12.43, so that looks pretty good. So first thing I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get some distilled water. You wanna do about three cups. So that's about three cups. And you don't want it to be quite simmering. Uh, simmering, water simmers at 190 degrees. So I did, I turned off I heated up this water on the stove just before it got sim simmering. So maybe it's about 150, 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna use one cup of Epsom salt. And this is exactly what your car battery needs. The Epsom salt is gonna dissolve in this water, this distilled water. You wanna make sure it's distilled water So let that sit. Now we need to go ahead and take out the battery acid. So for this, I advise you to get long pants, long sleeves, gloves, and safety glasses, all the safety precautions, because you don't want this stuff to burn your skin. It will damage the clothes that you're wearing. So get some ratty clothes you don't care about. All right, so this car battery has six individual cell caps. I don't know if you can kind of see there's little circles. So go ahead and get those up. All right, so I got my caps off, all six of them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the battery acid out. All right, so I dumped out all the battery acid. Let me just wipe this off a little bit. So, look in here. Look how black that is. Pretty dirty. So, what you wanna do now is put in some baking soda. This is gonna neutralize your battery acid. So you can safely dispose of it.
We're gonna go ahead and let it do its thing and neutralize the battery acid. We're gonna go ahead and check our Epsom salt solution. All right, it's nice and clear. You wanna make sure it's cooled off to about room temperature. So I'm just gonna put it in the freezer just to cool it down a little bit. We want it to be at room temperature and this is still a little bit on the warm, hot, hot side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, speed up the process. There's one pound of baking soda. And you wanna be really careful with this because if you put too much at one time, it's gonna be sputtering out and you don't want battery acid to fly out. All right, so I got my distilled Epsom salt solution. It's dissolved and Got my battery acid is still acidic, so we're still gonna work on that. I'm on my third box of of baking soda too, so that's okay. So now you're gonna fill up each cell and get it to probably not quite full, but just so you can see the water level in each cell. I actually need some more solution. Let me see if I can show you. You can't quite see the level of the water in them yet, so I need to add some more. All right, so it's been a couple hours and it's, it got dark outside, so I'm inside the garage now. But I had to make a third third batch of this. And the main thing is that you keep the, the same concentration. Uh, three cups of distilled water to every one cup of Epsom salt. Okay, so I feel good about the water level. All right. Okay. So that's pretty good. Let's see if you can see that. But definitely, definitely good levels there. Now that we have that filled up. We need to do a trickle charge. So I have this charger here. It's a 1.25 amp battery charger and maintainer. So uh, the lower the amperage, the better. Um, I read some places that said if you can get two amps, that's good uh, for about 24 to 36 hours. And mine is a little bit less, 1.25 amps. So what that's going to do is it's going to start from the bottom up, start from scratch to get the battery recharged up. And obviously at a lower amperage, you obviously need more time. So I'm anticipating that this is going to take up to 48 hours. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay. So you can toggle back and forth between 6 volt and 12 volt. Obviously, you want 12 volt. And we got AGM flooded or lithium. And so this is going to be AGM flooded. And, and it says charging, and then it should switch off to fully charged. So I got my negative here, my positive here. I'm gonna go ahead and let the trickle charge do its thing. And again, I'm gonna give it at minimum 36. We'll see, it may need up to 48 hours. So we're gonna check in again in a little bit. All right, so here's my battery. And 
I was working out in the garage and I see that it says fully charged. Now, it's only been about 12 hours, so I'm not yet going to believe that that's the case. Now when I look into the cells, if you pay attention long enough, you'll get little ripples and little bubbles. So I know that it's definitely charging. So I'm going to go ahead and take off these. And we're going to see what it reads. Positive and a negative. Wow, 12.86. So the trickle charge worked a lot faster than I thought as well. Twelve point eight four. Twelve point eight four. That's awesome. So that was a lot quicker than I thought. Um, I really got it charging ten ten thirty last night. So yeah, it's been it's been about fourteen hours. So that's that's good. We're gonna go ahead and get the caps back on and uh, get this hooked up in the car. All right, just got the battery in. So let's give it a test drive. All right, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you found this helpful or informative, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe. Definitely we'll have more videos. Appreciate you watching. As always, I am a handyman for the average man. Take care, thank you, bye.